Downey and Firestone was always the center of town. And so that's why uh, downtown Downey has always had quite an impact on um, Downey because this was the place where everybody met and it's right near this, sec Yeah, this was basically the hub. You had the train track right. that came yeah. through right All there. of these people and Mitrovich was, he was the uh, immigrant that came oh, here yeah. and he had a statement somewhere when I was doing research for my book about how important it was that he lives in America and, and how much he cherishes his citizenship and how much he loved Downey. And I always thought that was interesting because, you know, when I was a young man learning about Downey history, as time went by, I really realized what an important place Downey was in, in my life. You see, and it, people don't realize that, and that's yeah. why the history is important. Mm -hmm. If you really think about it, the history of the city is our story yes. of the city. And that's what gives that's us what our means. identity. And yeah. that's what's neat I about wanna, downtown. It yeah. hasn't changed that much. I went up inside of the, uh, the, the, the old theater area. Yeah, see, the silent topic. movies. Right there, yeah. there it is. So you look at the old map and you go, okay, south you, of Third Street. This is after it was 1918. So cool, Larry, when I went in there, yeah. you there were 50. Didn't you say right were, above the there's ceiling? There's skylights inside above the drop ceilings yeah. inside there that are French windows. Yeah. And you can still see the old barrel ceiling in the top of that alley with the spots where the chandelier is. I think it's neat that at our age we can appreciate this, you know. But my wife was telling me she's a first grade teacher and the kids that young just have no concept of time and so that's what's really important about Downey history is making sure that everybody of all ages can experience it in that's some way. Exactly.